All right, welcome to my Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass Skins Review video. In this episode, I'll be covering the Highwire skin, which you can find on pages 11 and 12 in the current Battle Pass. So these are the items that Highwire gives you. Obviously, the skin itself, a back bling, a pickaxe, a glider, a contrail, and that's it. Everything else must apparently be in the bonus rewards or quest rewards. So we'll take a look at that as well, but I didn't see a wrap or an emote. So like I said, they must be in those, otherwise she doesn't have one. So let's take a look at the skin itself first. It says chaos is a game and she always wins. Now you can see she does have a multitude of styles, which is really, really clean. Now most people know this skin for her default style, which is the bunny one. And unfortunately, in my opinion at least, this is the worst one. I hate big ears like that. Big ears, horns, and tails are my least favorite things in Fortnite. However, take those ears away and this is a really solid looking skin. I love the character model, I love her glasses, and I love her overall color scheme. It's very plain, black, red, white. Three of my favorite color schemes mixed. So if they just left it like this, I would say it would be a mid skin. However, luckily they didn't just do that. Her secondary style is the hood down and I love this one. Look at that character model. I love her hair. Very, very clean. That's not the only thing that changes besides the hood going down. You can see she also loses her glasses, but that doesn't really matter anyway, because from your perspective, you can't see them. Now her third style reminds me of the latest Fort Nightmares we had. This is called the Pack Leader Highwire. So this one is a lot better. Yes, it covers her entire face, but at least you don't have those ginormous ears. So there's a lot more color on this one. Does anything else change? Let's see. Yeah, the big fur around the neck. Ooh, I don't know about that because that might interfere when we aim down sights. We got to see. So you get the mask and the fur. Oh, it looks like her little shirt area turns different colors as well. So it's white on this one. You can see right there her whole chest area. And then on this one, it's gray with a slash mark in it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it looks like the design changes as well. So look on her pants. There's stripes on this one. Tealish. And on this one, there's no stripes. She loses some of her belt loops as well. Hmm. Okay. Now the best style of all. I love, love, love these next two. Watch this. This is called the Bubblegum Highwire. So this is exactly the same as the first style, except with amazing pastel colors. And even better, the secondary style, look at this. Oh my goodness, I love this color scheme. It's springy, it's eastery, it's amazing. And if you don't like it, you can just run these first two, which are the darker colors. Amazing. Now, of course, she does have super levels, which you can turn on. She's got this cool kinetic rush, the neon citrus, and the Mega Wave. So these all change her hair color. And of course it would change her bunny suit as well. And for this one, really clean. These are some of the better super level styles in my opinion. Now, how about the back play? Unfortunately, it's holographic and it says fuzzy and ferocious. So I thought the community made it pretty clear that most people don't like these holographic back blings, and yet we still get them all the time, literally all the time. So this one does have a wolf secondary style. So you got the pink bunny, which is Bounder, and the blue wolf, which is Mr. Wolf. Again, both holographic. Now the pickaxes are called the Plasma Core Claws. And again, this reminds me of that transformation we could do during Fort Nightmares, where you could turn into that wolf. And it says, shred the system. And there's a locked pack leader style, which are blue. I'm not really a fan of these. They're kind of silly looking and they're bulky but they're very sharp as you can see. Nice contrail and splash, I believe. Here's the blue ones. I guess we'll just have to see them in game, but they look a little silly overall, in my opinion. The glider is called Unseen Air Drifter, hunt in style it says. It's just a pretty average looking glider, and it's not even the first one. You get the second one called Pack Leader, but you have to unlock the first one. So that's kind of dumb, but this is just a typical glider with a custom design on the top. So it's not like it's super unique, but at least it's got a nice color scheme. The contrail is pretty cool. High wire sky mark. It says every drop is a branding opportunity. And what are those things coming off? I don't know. They're like 
bands that would go around your hand. But I can't tell what's on them. I think they're bunnies. Does it show a wolf too? I don't know. I think they're just bunnies. Like I said, I couldn't find a wrap or an emote. So let's go check the bonus rewards. See if we can find any of her items. Page three has the default glider. Okay. And this might be for her as well because it looks like a wolf. Pretty sure that is. So this is her emote right here, Sweet Shot. It says, I'm vital, I'm vital, you'll need me for survival. Don't make me your rival. <laughs> Interesting. So how about page three? Yes, she has one of her pickaxes right there. That's the secondary style. And then we don't unlock the best skin style until weeks nine through 11, which is really, really dumb. I can't use this, my favorite color scheme until the very end. So disappointing. And here's her wrap as well, which again is weeks nine through 11. That is so disappointing. The wrap and the skin. Ugh. I can't tell, this doesn't even look animated or reactive either. It's just a bland wrap. All right, well, let's take a look at what we have at least and we'll see how she plays. All right, here we go. Let's check out the glider first. Again, it's called the Unseen Air Drifter. Here's the deploy. All right, just as I expected, it's pretty much a default glider just with the redesign. Here's the deploy again. I do like the top though, very cool. Again, this is the wolf version though. We don't actually have the bunny one since it's locked. Let's get out of the slipstream and see if it makes any unique noise. Cool if like a wolf howled or something, but no. Contrail? Yeah, it's got a nice pinkish purple. Here's backwards and left and right. So not the best glider. So here's the contrail. Really cool, actually. I love the digital effect. And you can see those bunny bands, if that's what you want to call them, just glide right out of you. All right, let's take a look at the skin itself. So I was most concerned about the bunny ears. Let's see if it really impacts the character at all. Um, okay, well, it does obscure a good chunk of your left side of the screen. Now, obviously, if you didn't have that hood up, you'd be able to see right over the top of your head, but it's not too bad. The back plane actually looks okay. Obviously, it is holographic, so it does have that static flicker effect. The skin is pretty solid. Let's see if the ears have physics. They do. They kind of flow inward when you jump, but when you run. Okay. Here's the pickaxes. So they are a little large, but they do have that, I don't know how to describe it, that feathery end. You see, like, the fur that comes with it? So obviously, it's not on our hands normally but it's associated with the pickaxes. It's a cool deploy. That's not bad. Here's the contrail. I don't know, they just look a little silly to me. All right, can't really see a contrail, but a splash. Yeah, it's blue sparks. Not bad. Spin her around real quick. So she doesn't really have anything on her that would glow or be animated other than her back blink. I guess we could see if her glasses light up. Let's check in the dark here. So obviously, oh, okay. So her pickaxes actually glow on the tips there. Still can't see a contrail. Well, just a slight after image effect, but the splash is definitely noticeable in the dark. This dude nailed it. Uh, okay, so the glasses glow just a little bit and oddly enough, the hair looks a little bright as well. I don't know if I would consider either of those actually glowing though. So pretty much a bland skin in terms of color scheme. So here's the hood down. Much better when you aim down sights. Really good. And now the hair kind of actually matches the pickaxes with that weird fur. I guess it's more so pink though, isn't it? It's like a whitish pink. It just really depends on what you like to see as you play. If you don't mind the hood being up, the first style is really clean. But if you'd rather look at hair, then this style's for you. I personally enjoy this one a little more. Just because 
She loses the glasses, of course, but you do get the full face reveal, plus the magnificent hair. Other than that, though, nothing else changes. All right, so here's the wolf style. So remember, with this one, you now have the fur sticking out underneath your neck. At least I think that's fur. So again, it's not as obstructive as I thought it would be, but it's still definitely noticeable there on the left. Of course, you have the mask on your face, but it's nowhere near as obstructive as the ears were. Now, when you aim down sight, you can also see the new addition on her forearms. It's some kind of shield, like a cover. It's light blue. And it's definitely noticeable when you pull your pickaxes out because it's right above the fur. So I feel like this is a good style for sure. If you don't prefer the bunny gimmick, this wolf one is a little more satisfying, I think. It's a creepy looking wolf though. Mouth is always open. I'm sure it's going to glow in the dark. We're going to see. Ah, oh, I was hoping the back of her head would light up. See that little red mark? But no, it doesn't. Pickaxes are beautiful though. I don't remember that pink lighting up before, but maybe it did. And you can see her little forearm guards, like I mentioned, definitely glow. Let's take a look from the front. Oh yeah, the inside of the mouth is creepy. I would hate to see that in the pitch black, holy smokes. So we don't have the other pickaxes, so I'm not sure how they're gonna look on the wolf side of this, but these don't look bad at all, at least with this style. So not as much glow as I thought, but a little more glow than the default style. And unfortunately, that's all I can show. I can't show the best style of them all because it's not week 9 through 11 yet, which is pretty dumb. So now we got to check if either of these skins are reactive. There he is. It's in the bush now, Tiki. He's going to try and get off this little blue. I hit him. Someone, someone asked, um, Mega C signed. And she said, um, uh, Epic Games. Ha! Yeah! Got him. <laughs> now go get this stuff. I just want to look good. Alright, we're in a top five situation. I forgot to check on my first limb if it had any reactivity. This is a live match, by the way. Oh god, I almost fell off. Wow, if I had fell off there, that guy would have been dead. Well, he's shooting over that way. There he is. What? Did he die soon? Uh, okay. I think he died soon. <laughs> wow. That was Best weird. Game. The first game, one kill, Jackie. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah, and the only person you killed was that, like, in the middle. Yeah, it was in the middle of the match. What the heck? Well, let's go into replay mode and see if there's any reactivity. So he just died here. Let's see, I think I jump in the air too, so I gotta be careful. No, I mean the back bling flickered, but it does that anyway. Yeah, so no react. Yeah, so no reactivity. So there you go, that is the high wire skin. In my opinion, she has one of the best skin styles of this entire season. This bubblegum high wire hood down and hood up are phenomenal. I would totally run these. The bad part is, you can't. It's locked until week 9 through 11, which is absolutely dumb. So, assuming I had access to the bubblegum style, I would give this one a solid 7 out of 10. While I do think the bubblegum style is going to be my favorite overall, I gotta look at the broader picture, which is why I lowered it to a 7. I realize not everyone's gonna like the bunny or the wolf, and they may not even like the bubblegum style either, so I feel like this one's gonna be hit or miss with a lot of people. With that said, let me know in the comments, what do you think about Highwire? So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.